Hello there and welcome back to RC Model Reviews today. I've got a really interesting little product from Wall Kira. It's the iLook. It's a little camera. See that? Um, it's got a built-in FPV transmitter, so it's kind of an FPV backpack. It's got a little lead that comes out of it. Now, this I think these haven't even been released yet. Walkira sent it to me as part of the QRX 350 Pro package that I'm going to review very shortly, but I thought I'd just take a quick look at this before we get there. Um, as I say, it's, it looks a bit like a, I think it's the same form factor as a, uh, what is it, a GoPro 3. So it's, it's reasonably small. It's actually quite heavy because it's got a built-in FPV transmitter. It's got this crappy little sleeve dipole here, which you probably wouldn't use for much, but they also threw in a skew planar antenna, but it was left-hand polarized, so I don't know why. But it's got an SMA connector, so if you've got a your, your favorite FPV antenna, you can just whack onto the SMA connector there and do that. I don't know what power it is, probably a couple hundred milliwatts, I would think, maybe less, I'm not sure. Um, it's only 720p, so it's not full HD, but um, it's got this uh, little lead here which provides power, and you can also control the camera from your um, radio control system. So you can start recording, stop recording. I don't know if you can switch to still frames or whatever. It's got a little switch on the side for changing from movie to stills. So in some respect, it's quite similar to the, what is it? It's the Foxtech um, Horizon HD, but it's not full HD, so it's less than that. The price I've seen on websites, it's 120, 130 bucks or something like that. So it's not cheap. It's not cheap, but it does slot straight into that GoPro mount if you're going to be using it on a gimbal or something for a multi multi rotor or on a fixed wing so it will but of course the antenna out here is a bit of a pain if you're going to be putting it in a gimbal and it's like for example inside the discover or the um you know the what is it, the hobby king discover or the rv jet this antenna would get in the way if you've got it on a gimbal because it's inside the nose of a plane so yeah, that's a bit of a downer um with a skew planer it's a lot smaller but you know it'd be nice if it was well, i don't know i don't know what you'd do i guess it's the limitation of having your transmitter built into your camera but um, I'm still hunting for some instructions. Uh, it just came all ready to go, so I'm going to have to play around, see if I can get it working, show you. It's got a micro SD card slot, of course, so it will record live video, and it will obviously send the video back to your goggles through the 5.8 gig video link. So I'm going to try it. Obviously, it works in conjunction with the Devo 7 transmitter with the little LCD screen, so I'll set it up. I'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Looking through the front here, it's got an awfully small aperture for the camera, so it may be that it's quite wide angle, I don't know. I guess I have to try and see. It's got a microphone as well by the look of it. It's an unknown quantity, but I thought I'd just you know, let you know, probably one of the first in captivity, and I'll be throwing it on the bench in a day or so once I've finished the modifications updates to the uh, $1.29 diversity controller. But there you go, in the meantime, look at that. Ooh, it's got a little button too. Um, it doesn't have a battery. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite heavy considering it doesn't have a battery. So um, you have to run it off a tour. It's got seven to 15 volt input on the side. So you run from a tour three cell LiPo without too much trouble. Wouldn't run it off a four, but there you go. So if you've got any questions, put them on the bottom of the video. If you want to see anything when I test this out, let me know and I'll try and include it in the review. But in the meantime, that's just a little first look.